Hello guys, welcome back to the show. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use APIs in Flask. How do we handle APIs? If you make your request to an external APIs, when you get the data back from the request, how do you use that data in your view templates? In this tutorial, we'll be using the CatFax API, which is a free public API that you can use along um, if you want to follow along this tutorial. So again, what we will be doing is that we'll make a request using this URL to get this data and we will learn how to use this data in our view templates. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've got an app.py file. I've got a layout.html file, which has got HTML in it. I've got an index.html, which is empty. And I've set up a virtual environment with all the packages that I need. So if I do pip list, I've installed Flask, then I've installed requests, and those are the dependencies that I need for this application. So to start, we will import Flask from Flask. After importing Flask from Flask, we need to create an instance of the Flask app. Because this is a simple tutorial, what we can do is to create just a single endpoint and we use that endpoint throughout the application. So I'll go ahead and create an endpoint called index, which will for now return hello. And what I can say is that if I go to the slash root and the method is get, again, you should know that you don't have to explicitly declare the method, the HTTP method that you're going to use. If you don't declare the HTTP method flux implicitly assumes that it is a GET request, but I like to explicitly state the HTTP method for all my view functions. Now that I have this, I'll go ahead and start the Flask server. In my terminal, I'll type Flask run. I'll go ahead to this URL. As you can see, it says hello. So we know that the Flask server and the Flask application is working. Now we need to make the request to this URL. So I'll go ahead and copy this URL and make a request to the URL. Request, be request, I need to import request, request, get. So now let's see if everything is successful. Usually when I'm doing this, you need to check for errors. You need to check that the request is successful and everything. But because this is just a simple application, I will not be doing all of that. What we want to know is learn how to use the data that we get from the response inside of our view template. So for now, I'll print the request data. So I'll go ahead to that URL and see what gets printed out in the terminal, the response that we get from the request. You can see we have a lot of data in the terminal. So we need to find a way to convert this data into a Python dictionary. And how we do that is we use the JSON module provided by Python. So I'll go ahead and say import JSON. And instead of returning just hello, I would like to return the index.html file. So I'll go ahead and say import render template, return render template. Render template takes as a first argument the template that I would like to render. So I would pass it the index.html file. Okay, now if I go to the slash root, there will be nothing in the index of HTML. So we need to provide it with something. So I've got a layout.html file in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this layout.html file in this, inside of the index.html file and I will inject data from the index.html file into this section, into the block content section. So basically it's like inheritance. I'm using everything that this layout.html file has because it will be common in all my HTML files. And the only thing that I can I will change is the content block. So I'll say extend layout.html. By doing so, I tell Flask that I would like to use everything that the layout.html has. And all I have to do now is to specify what I would like to put into the block content. So in here, I will say block content and block content. For now, I will just create a div with the word index in it, like so. As you can see, we now have index appearing for that route. The next thing we're going to look at is how to pass the data that we get in. So this data that you see in the terminal, how to pass that to the index.html file. We do this by saying data is equal to our create a variable called data, which will be the data that we get from the request. So the response like so. Now I have passed the data to the HTML file. Can I access that data? Yes, but let's see how that data is being rendered. So to render the data, I will say data. As you can see, I've got a byte 
and I've got a lot of data in here. There is nothing I can do with this data. So what I need to do is to convert this data into a Python object, which I can then use in the view template. So I have JSON import imported here already. So what I will say now is that JSON data will be JSON loads data. So what the loads method does is that the loads method converts the data into a Python object. So I can now pass this to that. And to make things clear, what we can do is to wrap this JSON loads data in here. So what we can say is that JSON loads and get rid of this and say data. So now let's see what we have in the view template. As you can see, things are a little bit different. We now have a dictionary being returned to the view template. So what we need to do is to access this list and then use the data in the list. As you know, the way to access or to, to get data from a dictionary is to specify what we want. So what I will say here is that all, and now as you can see, we have a list of data. So now we can work with this list of data in the view template. What we can do here now is to look through that data and then retrieve whatever we want. So what I will do next is to write a for loop, say for data in data, and I need to end this for. What I want is I want to have a span with the ID. I would like to get the ID. And the next thing that I would like to get is the text, which is what we want, data then text. Now let's see what we have in the view template. So we need to wrap this inside of two curly braces, get rid of this, and get rid of that. As you can see, we now have the ID and the random facts about cats. We can go on to make this look a little bit pretty and that is what I'm going to do. Go into my layout, .html file, type in link, CSS. Now CSS files in Flask are put in the static folder, the static directory. So I'll go ahead and create a static directory in here. And inside of the static directory, I'll create a style.css file, like so. The next thing I need to do is to give the path to the style.css file inside of the href. So I'll go ahead and say URL for static file name, the name of the file, style.css. So that is how we specify the path to the static file in Flask. So now I'll go ahead and add a little bit of styles to the style.css file. So I've added a bit of CSS to the styles.css file. Now what is left to do is to add this class attribute to the div in the index.html file. So I need to wrap, basically I need to wrap this in the div and give it the class attribute. So I'll go ahead and say div, copy this and wrap that in here and give this a class or cards like so. So if I go back to this last root, everything should now work. So now, okay, everything is now working and it looks, you know, it looks much better than it was at first, but this is not the point of the tutorial. The point of the tutorial was to learn how to get data from an API, from, a, from an external server, which we've done over here and how to use that in the view templates. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.